Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and Cancer Rising weekly tarot reading for September 10 to September 16, 2018 and while I'm shuffling the cards <clears throat> in case you are interested in a personal reading uh, everything that you need to know is my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and at the website you can uh, find the full list of my services <clears throat> and their pricings and as it is a uh, summer end uh, there is a summer end sale going on for the entire September here which can save you a uh, $22 by purchasing the 30 minute service it basically adds 10 minutes on top of it so now uh, we go to the tower reading first this is going to be Taro and Lenormand reading and uh, we have a, a four position Taro spread the first position will be um, the topic for your week answers second position is about the core of the situation why the topic is happening then we do have the challenges that you need to overcome and tackle with for the duration of the week and the last one uh, is the guidance <clears throat> how uh, you can achieve the best out of the week so uh, let's see what you got now the first card is the moon card so it does look like that this week will be somehow um un unstable and insecure now when we're talking about the moon it means that the outcome of your events which are going to take place in the in the duration of this week cannot be predicted and cannot be seen just as um we have a part here who goes which goes beyond the summit and you can't see the end of that part this is how the events are going to go i mean you can see the very near future of those events but how far those events and what will be the um the end result of them cannot be predicted and that's why you may feel a little bit insecure maybe for the project you are starting maybe maybe for the relationship or the enterprise in that relationship that it is starting in this week and uh, your imagination will work on a, a full capacity and unfortunately that imagination itself is going to contribute for your insecurity now <clears throat> very important when we do have the moon card here is to um, say that those events which are happening are supposed to happen and you are supposed to live through them the pos on a positive side the moon card points that you know something uh, bad which is happening you know could turn out to be for a, a greater good however if something good is happening that could as well turn out to be for worse so it's very important this week not to presume not to assume things as well and not to think for a, a two, uh, two steps ahead it is important to ground yourself you know to tame your imagination as much as you can so you don't kind of give yourself to daydreaming and to fantasies and in reality not to take certain actions to improve your circumstances etc etc but instead of you know daydreaming and imagining things uh, you need to kind of rely more more on your knowledge you need to rely more on your wisdom as well and then to if you kind of um, look your imagination should they see that well uh, that way through the prism of your knowledge and of your intelligence here it is um, very possible that you're going to obtain a, a huge insight of how you need to proceed furthermore then we do have why this is happening this is the four of pentacles and in that particular case the four of pentacles signifies defensive position uh, about something maybe you are guarding your ways maybe you are guarding your relationship or maybe you are guarding your career as well you know maybe uh, uh, you know something very in in, oh, something is happening into your career or relationship which will make you feel very insecure again this is all in your mind as what i'm trying to say here so what you have to kind of aim to live through the week and also uh, these couple of cards are pointing them that something is going uh, is happening in a very weird way because the four of pentacles signifies already established patterns you know already established convictions and uh, 
as the topic the moon card points that you will not be able to predict and as they are established already how you will not be able to predict well because things are happening in a weird way so something is going off the plan something isn't working the way you are anticipating and that's why you may start feeling yourself threatened insecure you know um, that could again that could as well provoke for example thoughts that uh, your partner in your relationship doesn't love you anymore that they plan to leave you you know or it could uh, it could also play out the way that you may kind of like adopt thoughts that um, your boss is trying to get rid of you etc etc and again it's very important here guys that you remain calm and you remain uh, kind of like uh, humble, tame, resigned as well and uh these, these things will just uh, go away on their own accord and after that period of time this week is over you will again see where your um, undertakings are straining you toward now the next card points to the challenges that you need to overcome this is the world card and the only challenge here with the world card is that this week is highly unfavorable to finalize things as the world card points that this is a closure completion you know finalization of a certain um of a certain undertakings as this sits in a challenging position or in a negative position again what will be the challenge here is to finalize things and why is not uh, favorable because as i said your perception could be a little bit twisted you know your imagination could play tricks with you etc etc so as much as you can stow the situations that will be um, that will be quite better than uh, for example if you trade to uh, to put a closure into a project or into an undertaking and afterwards find out that there were a important matters which were uh, kind of overlooked here now the world card is as well uh, being open to receive whatever new is coming because the world is the ending and the new beginning it, it basically it says that one thing ends and soon after another emerges that is displayed here by the veil falling from the body of the woman as the woman becomes open you know to uh, receive the new perspective in their lives that card here into a challenging position points that it will be very difficult for, for you to see the further perspective you know of your undertakings your projects or your relationship as well and this is again because of the daydreaming because of the boosted imagination that you may have you know you may doubt yourself as well so it's very important here just to live through that week you know and um, basically follow your patterns as much as you can follow your patterns the, the important decisions you need to live for um, next Monday which is 17th of, uh, of September and the last card is about uh, the challenge uh, the uh, the best course of action here well this um, or the guidance so how you can overcome that kind of uh, sense of insecurity do not spend time alone when well, we do have the three of cups as a guidance speaks that your vision the true the, the vision over the truth or the vision over the the situations that you have clouded right now can be very easily obtained if you involve yourself into common experiences with friends with family you know even it's your relationship try to spend more time with your boyfriend or a girlfriend if you are feeling very despondent regarding your project ask for a help for example from your co-worker etc etc is just try to involve more people into your undertaking so those people can say they are judgment it's not even judgment you know but their opinion and through that opinion um, you will be able to expand your vision over uh, and and break through here the vagueness and the the the, the darkness should I say that way which is surrounding your um, your undertakings as well the three of cups it is a about uh, 
if we're talking about a practical incorporation of the card into our daily routines, it speaks that you have to first attend to the small things, you know, and then and, and then straight to the uh, through the greater, more meaningful things into your daily routine. Or here, uh, it speaks that you should kind of leave the important matters for the next week if you can, and now you should attend to the chores that are surrounding, you know, your uh, um, your daily routine chores which could be postponed so involve yourself more into the more meaningless um, meaningless enterprises and undertakings and la last final thing with the three of cups is that you should try to find people with which you can share what you feel for your situation you know yeah like for example uh, you know, crying on the sh on the shoulder of someone or uh, sharing a good fortune, happiness. You know, the aim to have a uh, quality time with a certain people and and friends, etc., etc. So it's kind of like more emotional involvement when it comes to a, a mutual experience with other people. So that was your uh, weekly tarot reading. Now let's see what the Lenormand has to say for a uh, event which uh, is going to happen. Uh, in this week and you should either look forward to or try to avoid should you can all right so. shuffle now we do have the anchor which is hope longevity and stability it is what the anchor stands for that is the uh, garden which stands for public it stands for community it stands for crowded places and then we do have the ship which stands for venture it stands for risk travel so for what it seems this uh, speaks for uh, it kind of regards to the three of cups so we have longevity true community here which will offer a adventure that is uh, what I think the Lenormand points so it does look like that you will be able to consolidate yourself uh, with a, a group of people you know with which you can uh, share everything that you feel that is going to lighten your burden and will be able to shed more light upon the situations that you are feeling insecure um, insecure about and that will happen through as I said you are uh, kind of like um, you know contributing for or involving yourself into more venturous uh, undertakings when it comes to a that common experience or a mutual experience they are mutual enterprises so that being said um, cancers this was your weekly tarot and lenormand reading for september 10 to september 16 2018 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and i hope that you can make sense of it because this is a general reading it is not your personal reading and as i can say tell you what the card means and what are their combinations it is up to you to make sense and align them to your uh, personal situation and again if you are interested in a private reading with me Everything that you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video which is only my website and there you can find a full uh, list of my services and their pricings as well. That being said, Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.